Hi everyone, I'm going to make an art journal page. Now I only have a vague idea what I'm going to do. I've got this image, it's from a book jacket and I want to use it on my page. This is my focal image, uh, image for this page and <clears throat> sorry. I'm going to try something to make some kind of background and interest and as I said vague idea what to do I'm going to start with uh, some kind of a background I'm using here a uh, gesso as my base for uh, the background and I've got several colors acrylic colors and these are deco art i've got flesh and soft suede and i've got crimson old navy so i'm starting uh, with uh, this flesh i don't know haven't used it before first time and i'm putting uh, this down dry brush i just want a hint of it in the background and it would probably uh, get most of it covered but I'm hoping that this kind of color will uh, give like a little light uh, in the background uh, of, because I'm planning that most of my background will be with the blue and so I'm hoping this will give a, a little bit of light and contrast so that's the only thing that I can explain <laughs> in my choice to use it and because uh, it's working uh, quite well with the white gesso I'm not going to use the other color the suede I've took a uh, I've uh, taken it out because I, I wasn't sure how this uh, color would work and I find that it's uh, what I wanted so I'm not going to use the suede. As you can see just randomly I'm putting down the white gesso and the flesh on my page and I will have a nice coat of gesso uh, plus the paint so it's a win-win I think And if I see any place that I think needs more, I'm just adding from the flesh color. Okay, so I've got here uh, the first layer of my background and I need this to dry. I don't want mud when I'm uh, starting to add the blue. So I'll be back. I'm back. So this is dry and I still got the gesso here and I'm going to put a, a really a small drop of a uh, paint it already on my finger <laughs> and I'm going to mix it I want to start with very light uh, blue if I uh, want other areas that would be more uh, darker then I'll just add and this I don't quite like it it's 
I was hoping that it will be more grayish blue maybe I'm going to uh, take black and put a drop in I want it more grayish and I don't want some baby blue here <coughs> Okay, let's hope this will work. As I said, don't have a clue. I'm winging it. So, I'm going to uh, start putting down Yep. I want it uh, to look I don't know, distressed. I don't want it uh, all pretty. <laughs> so I'm just going both ways with the paintbrush. Most of the uh, I'm going for a uh, most of the page will be in this color but as I said I want the white with the flash color to pick uh, out from underneath I'm working with a dry brush, no water at all. Got several areas where the black is more pronounced and I really really like it because I didn't a uh, mix the colors uh, well uh, on on my palette it gives me now uh, variations when i'm putting down the paint and i'm thinking of adding a, a little drop of black more black here This is just done randomly. I'm playing until I get the result uh, that I like. And if here I'm not really uh, doing anything because I know that my photo is going to come here. So I'm not really bothering with this area.
little bit more of the black. I think uh, it's more dramatic in when you add it in several places. I'm adding to the corners. It will help define the page. Here we go. I'm thinking, yeah, this is it, and it works for me. This is only <laughs> the beginning, and now I want to put down my focal image. And before I'm doing it, now that I'm thinking about it, I want to, I'm going to cut a piece of paper in the same size as this, so I ha will have something to mask it because I want to do some stamping around it. So first I'm going to do this and then I'll come back. I'm back. So I glued down my photo and I've taken a piece of a, a scrapbook, whatever, a cardboard a, a the size of my a photo so it won't a, get a, in the way and I've got here one of my stencils, this is just a plastic divider that I a, cut rectangle, rectangles out of it and I'm going to do some kind of a uh, maybe I won't need this let's see so I'm putting down a uh, my stencil and I'm taking a uh, little pieces of masking tape just so it will stay in place Here we go, and I got archival ink, and I've got a, a, like a book page a stamp, which I can't see now where is up, where is down, but it's, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using it as, you are not supposed to read it, it's just a, an element a decoration to this page. Here we go. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Okay. So now I want another one here, again I'm putting it down, maybe another piece here so it won't move, and I'm taking another uh, stamp, this one is uh, like handwriting stamp. Okay, and 
I'm thinking I want it uh, in the same line as this, so I'm going to put this here and just go over and add a little bit so it will match. Good enough. And again, I'm making some kind of uh, frame uh, to my photo. Here we go. And again, Yeah, here we go. So I've got this and I really like it and I want to add more uh, on the sides, on the uh, rest of the page, but I'm thinking about the square and not a rectangle. So another stencil, this one bought. And let's see. I really like it. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't know. I'm starting something and I really don't know what will come out of it. It's a good thing that it worked. Sometimes it just doesn't. I'm putting pressure because my uh, my page to begin with is not uh, it's for watercolor so it has a little bit of texture and after painting it it uh, has more texture so I'm uh, trying for everything to stamp nicely I don't need it it uh, the print to be really uh, accurate but i don't want to lose the shape of the square so working on it
do I need another one? Maybe here I'll put some rectangle. I don't know. Yep, yeah, I'm going with this. Don't know why. Here we go. So quite a bit of interest to my background and I'm not finished. <laughs> I'm going to uh, give it uh, a little blast with my heat tool so I won't have any smearing of the ink. It needs to be dry. I'll be back. I'm back. So I've been thinking about how I'm continuing with this page and I still feel I need something more and what I was uh, thinking that I don't like this section here uh, of my photo so I'm going to cover it and I want to add texture I've got this and uh, this is some kind of a uh, how will I call it? A bandage that is uh, used in drywall. I really don't know the uh, name for it in English. And I'm going to stick it here and then paint it. I'm thinking I maybe uh, even trimming it a little bit. So uh, everything here is with straight lines. I'm thinking here I'm going to break it it's not going to be in a straight line and let's see something like like this and it's uh, making a mess right now it's already has uh, something on it like uh, like gesso for that matter <laughs> and until I glue it it will uh, keep uh, making a mess here thinking about it don't like it <laughs> no uh, drywall <laughs> dry bandage for me and we'll see what I'll do with it maybe i have some black lace or something i need something here and i want texture and i want to re get rid of all this mess i've done on my table okay i think i can i can get back okay let's see what can i do with it i really want to mask part of a part a part here and now i'm going through my stash of uh, lace trims and ribbons i've got this in blue maybe it will work let's see thinking about it I don't know or I'll just leave it and that's it I'm going to look for other stuff and I'll be back <laughs> I'm back so I've got this synthetic mesh I have picked it uh, from the chip store I just know that uh, uh, flowers uh, use this to decorate uh, they have rows of it and they used to decorate uh, flower arrangements don't know why why it was in the craft section in the chip store but I don't care good for me so I'm going to start playing around with this uh, mesh on my page and then I'll have more texture. 
here we go something like that and let's see so now I'm just playing This is a little bit too much. Here we go. And like this. And yes, I'm satisfied. So I'm going to glue this down and I'll come back. I'm back. It's glued down and I wanted here some saying now a nice trick or a cheat sheet uh, I'm always uh, I can't uh, write a uh, straight so here is a tip for you take a uh, either a uh, this is rice paper so it's a little bit transparent or one of uh, the white layers that you keep from the napkins put it down on a page that has straight lines like so and then use the the lines as a guide and write whatever it is you want to write like so and I've used a, this is a, a calligraphy felt pen by Zig and I wrote freedom is a state of mind I'm going to uh, cut this out and put it down on my page and why did I say uh, on a rice paper or uh, the white layer from a paper napkin two reasons one because you can see uh, through it the lines and then you can write straight another reason is that uh, it blends uh, nicely when glued down the only thing is that I need to be worried uh, the felt pen is not permanent so here I'm going to use um, in this case I'm going to use a glue stick because I don't want all this ink from the uh, felt pen to uh, smear if I can find a calligraphy a felt pen that is permanent, then I'll, I'll just buy something like that. But for now, that's what I have. So this is it. And I'm going to put down a nice coat from the glue stick. Now, of course, with a white glue, it will work even better, the blending into the background, but I prefer it won't smear and even if it, it's not really blending with my background, it's fine. I can also do, I, uh, if I wanted to, disappear into my background I can take I've got leftover paint I've got a, a brush and I can go in like so and make it a little bit uh, disappear here we go So now it's more uh, in tune with the rest of this, uh, this. And as you can see, it still uh, bled a little bit the ink from the uh, felt pen. But it's fine by me. I really like it <laughs> and how it all came to be. So this is it, my uh, page. I hope you liked it. I hope it will give you some ideas to play around in your art journal. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments below. It really is uh, 
giving me a I don't know it encourages me to keep on with what I'm doing so thank you for that and I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now <laughs>